time because people on Twitter are going crazy. They want the world premiere. Please introduce it. Yes. Hey, everyone. Hey, everybody, and all my Tay Martian friends. new video let me know you look so hot yeah. Enjoy that. Yeah. thank you <laughs> so tay martians you know what you have to do add it as one of your three favorites at bet.com slash 106 playlist and just to talk about this record let me know the lead yeah. single off your new album it features future so how do the two of you link up well you know so uh were you inspired by leah at all with this one and uh if so uh, uh are you a, a fan of Aaliyah as well? I'm definitely a fan yeah. of Aaliyah. She, you know, and so when the whole song came up, um, it was actually her in the beginning, and I was <laughs> real. You <laughs> go, <laughs> you go in. So I want to know: Does it ever get too real? Do you ever go home and your husband's like, "Did you really say that today?" All the time, but not just on the real. <laughs> it's just every day, you yeah. know. But the real life is just doing the most. Yeah, I'm surrounded by divas. <laughs> like the most, but I enjoy watching it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but last but not least. Least. Let's see. Oh, whoa. Ooh, what are you leading to? Hey! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> do I do the most? Of course <laughs> not, darling. We are doing the most today. That is our that is our subject of the day. And we have so many things happening on the Twitter board. Let's get into some of them. You ready? Yeah. You absolutely. got that life? All right, first one. This is so if you want to share your thoughts. Hit us up on Twitter at 106 and Park with the hashtag doing the most. And we're gonna keep the music rolling with a play from Childish Gambino. And for this video, Gambino takes fans on the yeah. That was the play, y'all. Childish Gambino with Telegraph Ave. If you're feeling it, add it as one of your three favorites at bt.com slash 106 playlist. Oh yeah, so it's time to bring out our new <laughs> I have to say, this I think this is the first time I've seen you in a suit. Nah, really? We just need pants, but other than that, it'd be straight. <laughs> uh, Dwayne Martin admitted that the show is kind of like the new Saturday Night Live, because uh, everybody wants to be a yeah, part of the yeah. show. Everybody wants to come on. So uh, who are you most surprised to see? Is it, you know what I'm saying? Hey, all you got to do is come out to Hollywood. <laughs> we can make it happen for you. But no, nah, it's, it's definitely, man, it, it's at somebody after the show, but <laughs> you, you have a good time with it, and that's the beauty of it to where you, everybody else is taking everything so seriously in the media, but when you can... Whoa, 12 years after the end of the show, more 106 when we return. Welcome to the show. You guys look great. Thank Some you. Some beautiful looking people, yeah. right? Yeah. I love it. So let's talk about you actually serve as executive producer on the film. Yeah. When did you start thinking about working on a sequel? Because, I mean, 2002, that's a long time. Yeah, well, obviously, I starred in the first film yeah. in a uh, different world back in the day with Lisa uh, Bonet, and, yeah. you know, so I was like, yo, we need that good jeans right there. I exfoliate at oh, night. Wow. <laughs> so, Alexandra, you play Danny in the movie. You're vying to be the first female section leader. Yeah. So what are some of the challenges that you face? Well, you know, it's not easy being a woman in a man's world. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it's a love affair, too, so... Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. That's uh -oh. the tea. Okay. <laughs> uh, Latoya, yeah. what is, what's Nick like as a boss on set? Do you even, like, do you even listen to anything he says? What you talking about? <laughs> I mean, you gotta respect Nick. Come on, look at the suit. I know. Oh, yeah, He's stay to... clean. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw yeah, the y'all see the purple shoestrings. You gotta respect that. that. I actually didn't yeah. acknowledge it on purpose, but please continue. <laughs> no, I mean, he's a professional. Um, yeah. Of course, he has a great personality. He did go into, I caught him a couple of times in that mode, you know, looking over the scripts and making sure, da da da. <laughs> but other than that, he was chill, you know? And a lot of our scenes, of course, he was getting into character, so he had that Devin Miles thing yeah, going well, on. But you know, we've known each other since we were kids. 15, so, yeah, 16. so it was like, it was yeah. fun just to be on set in Atlanta, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, with that type of energy. So, it was a beautiful set. Yeah. What did you guys have to do, like, 
a drum line, like a boot camp, or like go to drum class. They did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have to Every this day. time, thank God. <laughs> I still got the scars from the first one. Uh, right there on that exactly. end. Exactly. Right. exactly. You exactly. lose that, lose feeling. You know, there's nothing worse than a callus on your ring finger, mm. ladies. Uh, <laughs> and club. Man. And club. The marching was the worst, though. Learning how to march was the worst. Man. Yes, Man. march on a new beat. Speaking of new beats, let's get back to the playlist with the latest from Joey Badass. This one is called Christ. Make sure you tune in tomorrow because we have another round of MCs stepping up to the plate in week two of Ultimate Freestyle Friday. This time, myself and Anubis are laying down the bars in front of G Unit and, of course, Mr. Moss himself. So you don't want to miss out, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> when we come back, Mark Lamont Hill is telling us why El Varner is getting involved in BET's new web series. What's at stake? Keep a lock for more 106. <laughs> That's the launch of BET's brand new web series. What's at stake? What I'm about what's at stake? Because yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah. So just so people who that they don't know, what is what's at stake? Tell us about it. What's at stake is the opportunity. All with this. Well, you know, Elle's is so dope because she's always been doing uh, activism. She did stuff with yeah. hip hop. The issues that are dealing with that are being dealt with right now matter just as much as they did in 2012, and just as much as in every week you'll get more. That's really cool. I actually got a chance to speak to the liveest audience over here earlier. Work. You know what I mean? I'm trying to work three jobs and still have time for a relationship. It's difficult. Come on, too. Oh, I would love to. I would talk for days. Uh, <laughs> if you want more, if you want to learn more about these issues that are at stake in the upcoming midterm elections, make sure you log on to BET.com slash what's at stake to catch the launch of the episode today. And when we come back, find out which Mississippi MCs are hitting the park tomorrow. You want to stick around for more 106. <laughs> In part, y'all. Big thanks to everyone that stopped by today. Nick Cannon and the entire cast of Drumline, a new beat. <laughs>